It's the Lockdown NFL Podcast, the Lockdown Podcast Network. Our coverage continues from Super Bowl 56 Radio Row in Los Angeles. Bengals, Rams, it's finally going to go down in a couple days. Marcus Trufant, Mr. Washington, joins us. He's got a couple podcasts out there, of course, Truly Unruly. Check that out. You've got the Barbershop. Is it the Barbershop Shop? The Barbershop Show. So the Barbershop okay. is a podcast, kind of like you're going in to the Barbershop you're talking with your friends and your buddies about the game. You're talking about relationships. You're talking about everything under yeah. the sun. That's the barbershop. Absolutely. You're here for a great cause, your foundation. What's going on? What's the latest with that? Absolutely. True Five Family Foundation, man, is something I started early in my career. Um, 2003 is when I was drafted. So 2003, 2004. Um, it's just like you said, I was uh, drafted to the home team. So to be able to give back to a community that gave to me as a young kid, I was all for it. We do scholarships. We do everything under the sun in that community, but it's really about the education, man, and giving kids opportunities. You know, not a lot of people can kind of identify with what's going on with Cincinnati Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow. Grew up in Ohio. He went to the Ohio State University. Now he's taking his home state team, the Bengals, to the Super Bowl. You were in a, you were in a Super Bowl with the Seahawks. You know, what's that feel like to be able to kind of give that to your your friends, your family, everybody you grew up around. Right, man. It's a great feeling of uh, course. A, uh, you got the energy of all your friends and family that you grew up with. They, Of course, they got your back. Um, they want tickets to come to the game. Yeah. So you usually got to come out of pocket a little bit. But um, it's beautiful, man, just to be able to, to um, have the success in front of people that you grew up with, people who know you, and that people that really support you. It's cool to go to other cities and do like that and have those fans support you but they don't really know you know you, you yeah know what I'm saying? yeah absolutely uh let's, let's stick with burrow because you know throughout your career you played with matt hasselbeck as your quarterback but at your final season in seattle it was russell wilson is there a difference uh between you know looking at a vet quarterback and then having a young guy kind of leading the charge um yeah um matt hasselbeck was a uh, um pro's pro, right? A guy that did it for a long time, played a lot of good football, <laughs> took us to a Super Bowl, even though we didn't get the victory, but it took us to a Super Bowl, yeah. um, Pro Bowl, leader in the locker room, and then Russ, a young player, um, and that's young Russ. This is pre- uh, the slick back and the shades and all that yeah. kind of stuff, right? Russ, he, Mr. Unlimited. Yeah. <laughs> Russ, already kind of had that that leadership kind of older quarterback type of quality right was very um focused was very locked in and was doing all the right things right almost like he was a program mm -hmm. and so um two different types of quarterback but same output same outcome as far as the success that they got yeah. you mentioned Hasselbeck I gotta ask you coin flip we're going to win. We're going to take the ball. We want gonna, the ball. We're yeah. going to score. Yeah. What were you thinking when he said that? Um, in the game, I don't even know if I heard it, right, yeah. because it was during the overtime game against the Green Bay Packers. But um, it was just one of those things. And if you think about Matt Hasselbeck, and I know him, right, so yeah. I know that he, that's kind of what he was feeling inside, right, mm -hmm. and he's so locked in. I think it kind of just slipped out. <laughs> He's not that type of guy that's um, crazy how the game ended. Of course, with the interception, right. then the game's over. But um, Matt's definitely my guy, and I think he, he's um, dealing with it. And I think he makes light of it now. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. It was in the past, but I know that was tough on him for a while. In the very beginning, and the fans, they probably didn't like it much. But, yeah. uh, hey, man, it is what it is. It so. is. It's one of the most like infamous moments that – you know, we can remember uh, Marcus Trufant joins us here on the Lockdown NFL Podcast, Lockdown Podcast Network. You played on the defensive side of the football, looking at all these talented wide receivers in this game. A guy that fellow Washingtonian, Cooper Cup, played at nearby Eastern Washington, yep. near Washington State. How is a guy who just, he won the Triple Crown in receiving this year. How does he continue to have success in the postseason? How does he just find ways to get open and make big plays? I think with Cooper Cup, I think he... Um maybe is a guy not now but guys may have looked over right or you take him light it's just like you said he comes from eastern washington and that's where my middle brother went as a matter of fact isaiah trufant mm -hmm. um but yeah a, a guy that maybe didn't get the love that he deserved from the beginning so i think he's using that to to fuel his fire and he 
plays at a level and at a speed um, that is all out, right? There's a lot of guys that run 4-3 or maybe even 4-2, but they don't play at that speed. They, they kind of don't have that extra drive. But Cooper Cup, not the fastest guy in the world, but he plays at a maximum speed at all times, and he's a very smart player too. I've, I've heard him doing interviews saying things like, okay, the safety was here, the linebacker was here, and this, that, and the third. So he, he's a, a football guy that knows the game inside and out, and he gets in the defender's blind spots and different stuff like that. So he, he's playing the game very smart and very calculated mm -hmm. to go with that all-out 100 miles an hour um, the speed, and it's been working. Yeah. On your side of the football, Jalen Ramsey, how can he play with that all-out speed? What, what separates him for, from the rest of the DBs that makes him currently the best corner in the NFL? I think, um, first I'll say this, I always say that the best pass coverage is a sack, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you can get to the opposing quarterback, you can make them uncomfortable, that always helps. But Jalen Ramsey plays with the confidence and plays with a, a, a swag and a, a pace. Mm -hmm. I think the, the pace he plays at, like he's not, um, <clears throat> excuse me, not playing overly fast or like out of control. He's always smooth. He's always in control with everything that he's doing. And his technique is great. A lot of players I see nowadays, it's really just about um, turning your butt to the sideline and kind of bailing out of there and just stopping the deep ball. But Jalen Ramsey, he backpedal, he's square, I mean, he moves around, and he's kind of like a throwback player to me because he's mm -hmm. going back to good technique, eyes, pace, and you make plays that way. Yeah, he's physical, right? I mean, kind of what you set the tone to create kind of the legion of boom, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of your career, real physical corner, correct? Yes, a physical corner that will tackle, mm -hmm. that will hit you, that's going to get in your face, <laughs> that's going to try to make you uncomfortable, and a lot of offensive players – don't like that. Yeah. The guys play defense for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. um, most of the time at corner, they're wide receivers that can't catch, but we got a mentality that is totally different. So Jalen Ramsey, he comes with all that, and then when you bring in the swag and his confidence, man, it's off the charts. One more time for people interested in uh, being able to help out with the foundation, Marcus. Yes, you can go to um, truefontfamily.com. Uh, or uh, you can go to MarcusTrueFont.com, and that has everything there that I'm doing. I have the foundation there, um, the podcast, yeah. the barbershop there. It has a Truly Unruly podcast there that I do with my wife. But MarcusTrueFont.com, man, everything's there. All right, great. Always great to catch up with Marcus Trufant, Seattle Seahawks player, Washington legend. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you, sir.